that sooner or later we begin to understand that love is more than verses on Valentine's and romance in the movies. We begin to know that love is here and now, real and true, the most important thing in our lives. For love is the creator of our favorite memories and the foundation of our fondest dreams. And this radiance that never fades, this mysterious and magical joy, is the greatest treasure of all, one known only by those who love. What can I say about Sophie? Absolutely gorgeous. But she always has been ever since the day she was born. I can remember that day as if it was yesterday. It was Wednesday, 17th of October, 1990. That was the day my life changed. Ladies and gentlemen, will you all stand for our bride, please? I, John Michael Howard. I, John Michael Howard. Take you, Sophie Patricia Cochran. Take you, Sophie Patricia Cochran. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. John, I give you this ring. John, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a token of my love. And as a token of my love. And from this day. And from this day. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Sophie gave me clear instruction uh, not to start with. I think you can all agree my bride looks beautiful today. <laughs> but I really can't put in any of the words how, how beautiful she is today when I saw her walk down the aisle as well. Yeah. Just took my breath away. I'd like to bring up the fact that I was never Sophie's first choice uh, for marriage, actually. When Sophie was a little girl, she, she wrote a letter to the Queen asking if she could marry her own dad, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never Phil, posted it. Phil never, <laughs> Phil never posted it, but it would have been a different story if, if he had. I was advised not to make the speech too long, which was fine by me. In fact, I was told the best man's speech shouldn't last any longer than it's likely to take the groom to perform his husbandly duties on the wedding night. So I'll have to keep it very, very short. On a serious note, John's a great friend, someone who always there for others and someone who always puts a smile on other people's faces. He's a ridiculously talented artist and someone who can put his mind to whatever he wanted to and succeed. And I'll know he'll make a great husband.
Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two persons, there is only one life before you.